Hi, welcome. It's Kristen from Life of Crafting and finally I decided I finally need a break from Christmas and I need to do something a little more upbeat and not anything from stamping up. So I pulled out the Stamparia, as I guess how you say that, brand, and this is the Sweetie pattern. Now this is an 8x8 inch um, paper pack and it says it's 190 GRs, which means it's definitely a much more condensed heavyweight paper. Very Victorian. Um, this is my first ever endeavor with anything from this brand. So it definitely seems very Victorian and it is all about candy, cookies, cake. I'm loving it. So what I found with this pattern is they have things like this where I can go in and I'll be able to cut out a saying. Um, some of these are smaller, but I think like if you did three of these maybe on a page, cute, um, or maybe tucked in with something bigger. I'm liking these. Definitely don't know if I would do one on a page by itself. They are about two and a half by two two and a quarter so they're big enough but I don't know like I said that I would just do them by themselves I'm kind of thinking like maybe like putting one at an angle and then putting the sentiment like next to it at an angle let's see loving these little ones again really just oof, delicious looking um I'll be honest these kind of intimidate me I don't really I've seen people do the stamps inside and I, I get that but um one of the people, like, I want everything to match, and I don't know that I would be able to get my stamping in that really, really that crisp. I'm liking these pages because I really do feel like I can kind of cut out an element and use multiple parts. Like, these could definitely um, be strips of some sort, but I like how you could probably cut these off and use them as a border in the card somewhere. I'm um, definitely thinking I may use some doilies with this. I have some uh, stamp sets that have like teapot, teacups. Definitely think that would go with this pat with this paper. And then like it backs up to some just traditional paper again with things I think you can cut out and really use as borders um, on the card somewhere. This I'm thinking would probably be a really cute uh, card front with some of those um, cut aparts in the center but I can kind of see that so we'll see back at that again looks like some old grandma wallpaper but you know what very perfect for cards um this isn't going to be my husband wants keeps telling me what's generic birthday to use as giveaways in our business and I'm sorry dear <laughs> I don't think you're getting it with this one um it's all very feminine here again happiness is a cup of tea I thought I think I could actually cut that and I can probably get two two different card fronts out of this with two totally you know different themes so I'm kind of thinking you know again that cut like that great card front more of that wallpaper looking back a great uh, page of cut aparts again this one I like a lot of them have some kind of sentiments in there um, you can see some good things coming out of that and again I told you I, I'm kind of feel like these are a little bit more challenging to me. So if I can get, this is going to be one of my first things. I'm going to take this apart and cut them in sixes. And that'll give me that. This one. Um, I see myself actually finding a way to cutting these out separately and making these two different card fronts and then being able to use some of these strips as some like layered up borders on there. I mean, like just this alone. I mean, I could see putting that behind here and then getting it as a, a layer up. So, uh, you know, lots of possibilities running through my mind. Here, um, I don't know how much I'm gonna have to be able to use this because like I said, I, I plan to, to kind of cut this part up. So that's gonna do away with these. Um, that'll leave me with some polka dot maybe. That may be a good one. This one, I'm just salivating over. How fabulous do those look? Yeah. So I'm thinking that these would be some great, um, I may even cut these. I don't think I want to do a whole card front. I'm actually thinking I may 
cut these in a strip and use them layered up with uh, like some of these cut aparts or the other cut aparts. We'll see how I kind of feel once I get the cut aparts cut up. But again, some great borders. Um, I could just see that bumped up on some uh, some dimensionals or some foam tape. You know, again, maybe maybe cutting out just a section of this so that I can get that centered. I, I don't know how much of this will be left after I have my cookies cut out because, you know, I'm definitely planning on using the cookies. Um, this is screaming to be a card front for a birthday to me. Just screaming. Um, and again, the way they've done this, you can just cut these, I'm thinking, right along here and bump these out um, to be some other layer on there. The my cake recipe backs up with this, so I don't know. Maybe I'll do something with that. You know, maybe I can just do something like, you know, with a sweet something themed sentiment or something. This. I see me honestly just cutting this in maybe a half or four and uh, using that as a layer up on a card. Um, phenomenal graphic there. I don't see that I'm going to have any use for this page because I really see me using this side completely, 100%. So this side has no significance to me. This page, I see me um, punching, circular punching out every single one of these. Phenomenal. Um, probably just fussy cutting these out with scissors and then using this border at the bottom, this lace border, something different. So this page is going to be used entirely. I don't see any need for this because I'm not going to have it. I love this. They give the back panel um, a bunch of different things that you can cut out. So I will see that I'm going to, I don't know how I went and use all of those. They're all great. So um, there's nothing from the back that I see that I'm going to use any of this out. But the, the front... Um, oh, you know, that's the same thing. That's the front cover. So I don't see I would pull anything. I know sometimes I look at what's on the front of the covers and think, like, can I use it? Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to be using most of this. So to start dissecting, this page is 100% getting cut in half or in the nines or whatever. Um, this one, 100% is getting to be starting to get cut up. And then that one needs a little thought process. This I'm cutting some of it. This one I'm going to, like I said, play around with that a little bit. Definitely plan to um, find myself a punch that works with that. I, I like to do the punches only because it doesn't seem to take as long as trying to die cut everything. And then these and this, I'm going to leave... Um, I work at a computer with a business all day. Sometimes you just need that five minute break. Like really, can you, can you relate? So what I'll do is I'm gonna take these to my desk and when I need that time to just refocus and take a few minutes off, I'm gonna sit and start die cutting some of these out at that time. Um, you know, if you sit and like to watch TV or something like that, or you know, you could even just sit and do these in the car if you're having to, um, you know, spend time like, you know, before all this COVID stuff, I used to have to sit, I remember, with like my son, waiting for him to get done, like his sports and stuff like that. So these would be a good thing for you to be able to take on the go if you needed to. So I'm going to end this right now because I'm going to cut out and let's see. Oh, I didn't get through the whole thing. I'm going to be cutting this page. Oh wait, so I already did these. These pages I'm cutting for sure now. I know I want this cake, so I'm going to cut that out for sure. Um, these are the two I'm putting aside to do when I need a little few minutes off. And then I'm going to be needing um, to think about how I'm cutting these up um, to use these. Like I said, I'm not sure if I want to try. I may just kind of make a, a card face uh, on this in the front. Um, same with these. I gotta, I gotta figure out how I'm going to place them out, and then I gotta figure out how to place that and that. So these need a little bit more time to think about. These I already know exactly how I want to do them, so I'm gonna cut them, and then we'll come back. 
So I'm back. I have um, cut these as best I can, and I will go in with another, um, I did this on my guillotine, and what I find with the guillotine, um, here I have it, is that I can only get so close before I start questioning. Um, only because I'm just kind of new to this. I don't feel like I, I'm able to get as close with this one um, to gauge to make it even on all sides. I still do keep my um, stamping up trimmer because this one I'm, I've used mostly um, all the time and I can kind of gauge this before I cut it. And you do the like start in the center and just like rock it back and forth so that I feel like I can gauge this one a little bit better. Um, you know, it's just a personal preference. And I feel like I can get those little ones a little bit easier. Again, the blade on this has to be new. Um, that was one of the reasons why I wanted the guillotine because I felt like the blades on these, if this is the new one, are still even um, wearing out way sooner than they should. So. That one I felt, like I said, I could get a little bit more of a consistent border. So I only saved um, doing that so I could kind of show you what I was talking about. So these ones I will clean up um, from here. Here's what I'm saying where you can take these borders. I think I can see myself, like I said, doing some little, you know, construction over it. Maybe like with it down the side, we'll see. And then I did, I left this as a strip. I will cut these as I'm going to use them because I'm not real sure yet if I want them really tightly cut into them or not. And then I wanted to show you this. This is how much space you'll have between all of them when you try to punch them out. And I did this specifically because I cut this with a one and three quarters and this was with a um, two and a half. If you go much bigger, I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of room um, between them. You only have maybe a quarter of an inch between some of this. So those were the measurements I used, two and a half, and I do still have a little bit of like white around here. I probably could have centered that a little bit better. Um, and then some of these were like this. I don't have any white showing. So it depends on if you want white or not. I didn't get white, like I said, from that. And then these... I will clean those up as well. So right now, I'm envisioning I can get at least one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Six from those. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's at least 12 cards. This I'm thinking with some of these small ones of doing, here's my sketchbook. Those are leading me to think, um, I have, I think it is, it's eight. So I'd like to get more than two cards because like a sketch like this one, I could easily do. I could easily see me popping them in. I mean, they're the right size right there, you know? I mean, they just, that, that's just a no brainer. But I only get two and those are great. Um, so I'm kind of thinking to do now these are ones I went to these sites and I picked um, what I thought was what would work. And I thought, you know, maybe something like this with some of those like wallpapery ones behind it, you know, cut in fours and that like kind of bumped up in the center with a cute sentiment. So I'm thinking about that, you know, could you imagine like cutting off like one of these? in the center and backing it up with another layer. That's not, I'm kind of leaning because then I get eight cards out of this, but it depends on what I'm going to have left over from there. Or, um, you know, again, I could mix up the papers because again, with Victorian, you can go very, um, you know, like a stripe and like a floral or something. Or I was thinking one that was kind of this design with the three, but my problem is I only have um, eight of these. And if I did three, I'm like one short. So what I was thinking of is could I do two and maybe make something in the center from one of the 
cut apart pieces. So even though they're not circular, but maybe something that kind of matched it. And then do like one of these little ones tucked off to the side. So I'm kind of leaning towards this way because then I'll get four cards out of it with that. Um, or here's like a Queen and Company one that is a sketch. So, you know, I, I'm kind of new to the sketch thing, um, you know, planning by a sketch. But you know what I'm finding? It really helps if you spend a little bit of time in the beginning of it because then that's going to maximize what you have in a paper pack. So right now I'm going to spend my time um, finalizing which sketch I'm going to work with from these. Because even though they're, they're rectangles, I don't have to stay rectangle. Like, um, you know, like I could do the same one, but it could just be you know, like a, a pure rectangle versus that. Or here's another one that's like from Queen and Company. I could do this one and put that in the center. And then maybe do something this heart, maybe do something as one of these little things over here. So that's what I'm looking at right now is I'm gonna go through and kind of pick out how many sketches because I already know, um, like I said, I'm gonna get 12 cards from these and if I pick even if I went with this one and I changed that to a square, it's really not going to change this look. So you know what? I think I'm going to roll with this one. My only problem is I don't know that I have foundation die number two. Um, but if I can find something I have, I mean, because the only thing I marked in here for number two was this sentiment strip, which we all have tons of different things we could use for sentiment strips, I'm sure. But it's the, um, the rectangle with the scalp. So if I can find something in my stash that's, you know, gonna give me the shape, give me that rectangular shape, but something in close to fitting what I have between the square and the rectangle. And, and that heart. I know I have a foundation number one, so I'm gonna have this part of it. So this one I think I'm gonna already kind of take out of here. This is one I'm already deeming, like we're, we're gonna roll with this one for these. I think that's gonna be a really cute presentation. And if I can find something with the scallop that's really gonna lend itself to this style of paper anyway. Um, I'm still, like I said, creating my, my look of this book, but I think this is going to be good. And then I do think, um, I think I may use these three on a card front by themselves, just to get one card and just use the three of these on a card going across. And I'm thinking I may see if I have something that's going to give me like a postage stamp edge. So those is, that's going to be one card. The circles, I don't know where my third one went. I'll look for a sketch for that. And then I think I like my idea of just doing two with these on the front. Um, so that I can get um, more of those out of it. But you know what? Here's another idea. I have this die set. So this may be a good one because look, they're going to fit in there. If I can fit a sentiment in there, but use something like these there instead and just put like a happy birthday. There we go. So this one is going to give me four. So that's where these are going to go. So, you know, you see how this goes. You just, to me, I printed these out on a uh, computer tried to get them all the same. Um, I added them so that the pixels were the same, kind of the same on each side. And then I just cut this scrap paper. I, I've mentioned it before, I am de-stashing this craft room or this craft area. So you know what? They fit in there perfectly. I'll do um, a separate thing on these. So that is um, those. And then I just need to pick something for the circle. Um, you know, I can do, this is going to be a kind of a same good one. Um, maybe a little, they may be a little big, but I can move the strip down a little bit um, for foundation set number three. I don't know that I have that, but again, I, you know, you can, you can remake these so simple. It's great to have those foundation dies, but you don't have to have them. I mean, I may not get all the stitching and stuff, but this gives me a general layout 
of what I want to do for that. So there's, a, we'll get one card. We're going to get um, four, so there's five. And then I think, did I count these were 12? So we already have 17 cards right here. I need something for the circles. Um, this is a nice one. I don't know that I have foundation so seven, but this would be a nice one to show off a pattern paper in the back. So if I go through, there's my other circular, I know I was looking for that. If I go through, so we've shown this, I hope you all understand what I did. I had to cut some of this to get the punch in there, but that gives you, like I said, the idea of how much space you're dealing with. There's nothing I can salvage out of this. If, if, you, if you can, I applaud you. Um, by all means, tell me and show me how you, you can reuse any. I mean, there's tiny little sections, but I really don't see me doing anything with that. So that's in the trash. This, I want to use these, so I'm not cutting this up from the back. I want to use this section. I kind of see me cutting these four, so I don't see I'm going to really get anything from the back of that one. This one, like I said, I think I can fit this being a card front. Um, I may have some of this, but I don't think I'm going to have a whole section. Um, I'll have a section possibly for this. I don't see that I'm going to really be able to do a full three of them, and I don't know that I'm going to have enough for whole front, but this is a maybe. Like I said, I want to cut these. I already know I want to do something with these, so I don't see that I'm going to have any of this. I don't see I'm going to have any of this, and I don't see that I'm going to have any of this. So, yeah. So, basically, what I'm looking at is that a lot of these are going to be, um, I'm going to have to really be selective in what I do about the background paper. So having said that, I'm looking at this sentiment or some of the others, and you, I, I'm not going to limit it to saying I can't do anything because I don't have a printed paper. I'm looking at this one and I'm thinking, can I do some kind of stamping or an embossing? in the back with this frame. So this is still gonna be a maybe. My only problem is I know I don't have this foundation die and I really don't know that I'm gonna be able to create that great of a stitching. So I'm gonna say no to this, not because I don't have the printed paper, but because I don't think that I could create something that's gonna look with what I have without a lot of effort. And I want these to be fast and simple. So um, we're still looking for something, like I said, for these circles. I know I have this one. Can I do something here and put something else? That's a possibility. Um, bump this up in the center and put the sentiment like printed on the bottom. That's a good possibility. Cause again, I have all these little things I can, I can layer up with it. So this is a good possibility. And again, I, this is another reason why I don't want this binder and all. I want these to be for me to take out and, and look. So this is a possibility. Um, so let's go back. Here's a good one with a circle and you know I'll keep this as a possibility depending on what kind of scraps I get after cutting. So this is one I'll come back to if I have different sized scraps. So this is one that I'm going to just flip through now and go through um, what I think is possibilities. And again, it doesn't have to be a circle. Could I do this square and add a circle? Sure. It all look great. I don't have all those foundation dies and I, you know, like I said, sometimes you just got to keep it moving. Um, this would be a good one again. I could change it up and maybe make this panel smaller. We'll see. Um, I really think I'm going to just kind of let these ones sit aside and ferment. So I don't think I'm going to pick anything more because like I said, I think these need to be kind of thought about more. So then we're going to dissect these pages, like I said, I know I want these and I know I want the, the borders. I'm not doing anything with that. So now I've got to make a decision on how I want to use 
this, this. Now see, I see me cutting this out and I'm only gonna get one if I do it that way. Um, and I'm thinking I can um, kind of maybe lay some of these out and make it like, almost like a buffet of goodies. Um, so this is how I'm gonna do that one. I see me just doing her, maybe just her as much as I can get and make that a card front. Yeah, you know, I'm just kind of doing that. So, okay, I'm gonna have to figure those out. These are cut apart. So this is going in that, oh, these were the two that I told you I'm gonna, okay, these are officially going away. So they get out of contention here. Um. I've got to cut these out and figure that out. I've got to cut these up and figure that out. These and that. So I think the best favor I could do for myself, see what dies I have that are basically a full card front. So I have one from the greetery and let me see where I put it. Um, that's the one that comes to mind. Um, okay, this is not exactly a card front size. This this is the Nordic frames. But what I'm trying to get now is that this is this is a four by five and a quarter. So if this was my card front and I wanted to put this on the, the card, how much of this front do I want it to take up? And my interest is of this. So if I did this in quarters, um, you know, I could do a partial cake and have a sentiment like these on top. You know, maybe I could just cut this out and bump it up. So there's possibility. So if I cut this in half, what I'm going to get is, because um, it's eight inch by eight inch, so I'm definitely gonna get the four. But if I look at it this way, this is what I'm going to get as a quarter. It's basically about this much. And I'm looking at that to say like, would somebody understand that that's a cake if I just gave them that? Um, you know, what if I used like the My Cake recipe? Again, it's big, but I could cut off. Um, I, I put them away, but I lied. They're still here. Um, like they're saying, uh, see if there's something here that's cake related. Enjoy your sweet moment. Life is sweet. Um, so I, I do think that using a quarter of this cake we could still, you know what, you could even cut this like it's a slice of cake. That may be what I'm going to do. I may take this whole thing and cut it like it's a slice of cake. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to make it look like um, they're getting served up a slice of cake. So yes, I'm going to cut this in quarters and then I'm gonna see what I like after that. So this is getting cut in quarters. I did not cut this one yet um, because this one I can cut straight across, but then I need to cut this out to not cut into the rest of that. So I will have some possibility of some pieces here. So we'll cut that next. Here we come up with these, and I'm looking as if I cut this here and don't leave this for something else and leave that for something else. So I'm left with this. I think I could seriously get three strips and cut them in fours. And then by the time they get layered up, well, let's just look at it this way. By the time they get layered up, I think you would still have a fabulous looking cake. So that's what I'm gonna do here is cut this strip, cut this strip, and they're gonna be different. Cause like I said, I see being able to use these two as panels like this. Um, so that's what I'm gonna cut next. Then these ice cream cones are huge. 
So I see me cutting that one this way. And then I could put that on top of that. I am not going to be able to fit this whole thing in here. So I've got to look as if I cut this, where am I cutting that flower? And I think I'm going to cut this one so it's kind of centered. And then this, I'm going to have to try and only get like the best parts of it, which I think is going to be this part up here. So that's what I'm going to have to get off of that. I want to save this to go with this. And then I'll have like this section over here and some strips at the bottom. So again, I'm going to get that polka dot to use as some scraps. So that'll be great. So we'll cut that. Is that I'm thinking I kind of want to center that on a card front. But you know what? It's not going to... Well, see if I just cut here and did that, I think we could still... Or would it be better this way where you get a taste of the you see what i'm saying like i'm trying to save the sentiment but i'm trying to save the scene of what's going on here too and the back eh, it's just paper i think i like this one the best and then i can cut that oval out of that and pop that up i'm not going to get the cups um but i think i can tack them in maybe kind of on another card off the side. So we will do that one for that. And then like I said, I see this as the card front right here with some stuff piled up on it. I think that's gonna be my idea for that one. I'll get some good stuff off the back to be able to use for that. Then like I said, I think I'm gonna cut this so I get these here in one, one piece. This is another piece, and then I think I'm going to try and get her as much as I can there. And then I'll cut these as much as I can and use them. And there's some strips and stuff there. So that's what I'm going to cut now, and then I will be back. I'm just going to cut these off camera, and then I started cutting these and realized it's probably better to show it on camera. So what I started to do was I cut this figured I want her four by five and a quarter. So I cut her four inches, but I didn't go all the way up because I didn't want to cut this border. So I cut her as far as I thought I could, but you know what? She is going to be, um, I need like the way it is right now, this is six inches. So I need to find three quarters of an inch to cut off. And what I was looking at is there's a really pretty pattern here that is, Oh, if I cut that like an inch and a quarter. So she is actually, if I cut it there on that green line, that's gonna give me, or that pink line, that's gonna give me five and a half. So that's pretty close and I would take it off the top. So if I went in, okay, so I'll, I'll get back to her. So then I cut this across cause I knew I wanted this. Um, this border. So that's the border we're going to get from there. So I took this off. And then I cut here. This is where I cut first for her. So I went across and then I came down here, but I stopped because I know I want this piece. Um, so we can actually cut this off now. I know I want this piece, but I don't know how much I may cut it here and get that blue strip. But I didn't want to go all the way down because um, there's still a little bit here, but I'm thinking I could use this. Um, I don't know what I wanted here. So let's deal with her first. If I cut this here, I get that to work with. I think she is still just as pretty. Um, yeah, you're missing her bottom of the skirt, but I think you still get the point. And then I want her five and a quarter. So that's going to give me that. So she's not quite centered um, because of the way it was positioned on the card. And like I said, this is, this is four inches. So if I move her to 
three and three quarters. And I take her from, took a quarter of an inch there. I want to take a quarter of an inch because I have her at five and a quarter. Take her down to five inches. This is going to get it more centered on the card. So there's my card for her. I did cut this paper in fourths and I'm kind of, hmm, Still not quite sure exactly what I want to do with it, but you know what? It's paper. So one friend told me one time, it's just paper. Yes, it's beautiful, but truthfully, what was I going to do with it as an 8x8? Eight eight? There really wasn't anything I was going to do with that. And if I just tried to use the center, it wasn't going to work anyway. So if I have to, I just use the back. I mean, the back has got some pretty stuff on it too. But we'll see where this leads, you know? No idea. Um, so like I said, I have this strip now and, uh, you know, there's some, some layering possibilities, you know, I mean, I can layer her up on that. We'll see. So put this, I'm going to have, a sh I'm going to have a pile of strips right now. Um, I guess I do see these being separate. So, um, I was going to try and keep that border possibly, but now that's in the middle of the cups. So we're going to just finish this off here and that's going to give me a strip that I can use for something else as far as um, another card so that's a strip so I'm gonna want this centered so what I'm going to do is now going to cut off this blue polka dot because that just does not look right to me and get rid of that and that strip can be put in the strip pile because I may be able to use that for something. I do kind of like this. Um, you know, there's a lot of patterns that have a, sh a solid um, strip in it. Um, i trying to find one. You know, like even something like that, even though it's that, I could see that. So I think I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave that like it is right now. I was really thinking I was going to separate those two, but I'm not. So now for this, I want this to be the whole card front. And at four, this is directly in the middle. So that means I have to take two inches off of one side and two inches off the other. Um, to get this centered in the middle of the card. So I'm going to just do four inches and only come down partially. So then I'm going to cut this at four inches. And that patisserie, I, I used to speak French if you could believe it. Not a whole lot, but in high school I did have French for three years. And I can't, patisserie, I can't even remember. Oh God help me, I'm slaughtering that poor language. So I want to do this at five so I did this to see what was on the back, but you know what? That's nothing exciting to me. So let's continue this down. Um, let's put this back. I should have looked at that first. So here's two inches. I'm ironing up down here too. Let's get that off of there. So we'll be using that side. Let's do, um, this is going to be four inches, buying that up both sides. So now we're left with this. And I want to save this. So we're going to do this at five and a quarter. And that gives me some really cute um, things for the bottom. Like I could see me really layering up on top of that. Um, you know what? I really like that. I may keep that. Or I could see her Makes, makes it looks like a family portrait or something. So yeah, I definitely have some possibilities on that one. So here we go. And again, I could see, you know, oh, I could really see me piling up some of this stuff. Can you now? Beautiful. So that's another card. I decided on this one, I really want to keep, again, looking at the back. So if I can, I want to save the bottom if I need to. I don't think I'm going to need to. I decided I want to... Um, so if I do this at five and a quarter, I'm going to get the very edge of happiness as a cup of tea. And I really, I think I need it a little bit more centered. So if I go at five and a half and I take a quarter inch off of that, that is going to give me, that's going to give me a good, and I'm going to miss the teacups, but you know what? I got, I got other teacup 
stuff in in these. I think there was some tea. There's some teacups. So I, you know, sometimes you got to learn how to let it go. So this is going to give me that beautiful side, and then um, I'm going to do the five and a quarter this way so that it's centered a little bit more. And there we go. And then if we did this by four, as you can see, I'm going to cut right through here. So I need to figure out if I take this off, this is about three quarters of an inch. I need this to fit right about here, which is going to give me my, that's exactly what I need. So we are going to take this off and give that as that, there we go. There's another really cute strip that we can, uh, you know, pile some stuff up on. And we're going to do this at four inches. And we still have a lot of the teapot. We missed the bottom of it, but you know what? I don't know that you're going to, uh, to miss it. So there's a nice card front that we're going to do some stuff on. And you know what? I'm thinking if I can cut out those teacups, I can actually cut these out and place them so you won't even see that piece there. So that's another card front. And we got a nice section of um, like the wallpaper looking things. Now, here is the one I'm going to show you. Um, this one's going to give a little bit of a thinking it out because you're going to have to go straight across here to save these strips. So, oh, and they're the same on both sides. So that is great. So we're going to leave them intact like that for right now. Then we can do this one. And that's going to give me, oh, I want to cut off. I think I, see, I don't, the blue doesn't make sense with the rest of it. So I'm going to cut that off because there was no blue on the other side. So here we go. Um, I'm actually thinking I may cut this across here and give me that juicy looking cake. Ooh. And again, I may cut that pink off because there's not really anything else pink down below. Kind of pull it together. I love how there's like some shading on this. Looks like I, I colored that, but I didn't have to. Um, so now I have another piece. You can actually layer that up. So that's going to be another card. Um, I really kind of think I may do something with this. I'm not sure yet. We'll give that over there. Yeah, this one is going to take some thinking out. I know I want to cut it here. So you got to cut there. Just bring it down almost to that there. Then I'm going to cut this line. So they make this a little bit like you got to figure it out. It's almost like a puzzle here. So that gives me this piece. And now what I'm left with, um, I want the polka dot. I love that polka dot. So I'm going to take this line fully over. And I have to make that decision before I cut because now I've cut those off but you know what you still get pretty much the same pattern on the back side so there's that strip and this is going to make some great background paper so for me to do this I had to get this and get this kind of centered I'm looking at the ice cream to be centered is at basically one and a half so I need to go to three inches to have that ice cream centered but that's going to cut my pink off and I don't want to do the, the pink on the ice cream. So I'm going to pull this back over to as much as I think to center the pink's edge. And I think that's kind of good. Now it is going to offset this a little bit, but I can fix that. So I'm not going to cut this yet because like I said, this is going to be too long for a card front. This is over six inches long and I actually have a little bit of the other border still stuck to it. So this I'm going to leave until I get my card set up. I'm going to 
leave that for now. But I'm looking, I only have about a quarter of an inch edging on that. So I'm going to leave this with, I'm gonna try and get that um, as close to being basically as like a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna cut this right about here right now. And to me, I'm just kind of eyeing it up. And I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna cut off that little bit of border that's still stuck on there. And again, I haven't decided I may cut this off and do these in layers. Now, this is the one that is um, one of my favorites and I've got to figure it out because I want that saying there. Awesome. I think I can use that as something on one of the card fronts. Now, this is the thing I hate. You get all these little loose on the sides. I just cut that off. It's probably the easiest way. So then here, I'm going to leave that lace and cut that to give me what I see now is three strips. I'm going to cut these in threes. Alrighty. Now, what I haven't decided is, do I want them in half? I don't know. I want to pick my card style out, I think, because if I do it this way, I can use this on a card front. If I do this this way, I have this for a card, and then this. I think that's how I'm going to do it, is leave these in one strip, and then I'll have these to use in something else. So, having done that, that is all of our cutting. Um, so now I've got my stash of, um, you know, my, my accent pieces here. And then these are the card fronts that I'm going to, um, these are going to be layers up. These need a little bit more of a picking of a design. These may not be full card fronts, but you know what? They take enough of the front up. I don't see me doing much more in the way of a layout. And you know what? These I see kind of falling in there is that it's either going to become the sentiment with, you know, something like one of, well, maybe not happiness is a cup of tea, but enjoy the sweet moment. You know, like I can see that still being quite a bit of the card front. So, um, yeah, I mean, like here are the teacups. Enjoy the sweet moment. Like I may be able to do a tea, so we'll leave that. Um, or my cake recipe. I could see doing that on there, but it is kind of big. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to keep the cake. I think I'm going to use this side because I think this side is going to be really fun with some of these other patterns. So I think I'm going to have to let the cake go. Even though it looks beautiful, I think I'm going to let the cake go because it's just frustrating me. So these ones I'm not really thinking of a design for because they are themselves. I think I've answered my question how I'm cutting these because um, I think I can do a, a cord front with just the three of them on the front. I think I can figure that out. So I need a card that I can showcase them, which again, like I said, I can kind of see that going with them. And then I can kind of see what I'm doing with these. So we already have another four, uh, eight, and four is 12. 45. So we have another 16 compared to what we already put aside. And then like a lot of these, like I said, are going to be accent pieces, but I can already tell you, I'm going to be pulling some of this stuff in like this, I can see doing like a whole card with, or doing different cards with some of this. So these are not, um, this is not the end of it. So next thing is I'm going to go through my card. Um, like I said, my first goal is to de-stash. I'm gonna go through and pick out papers. First thing I'm seeing here is I want like two or three tones of pinks. 
uh, very light, medium, and dark pink. I'm wanting to get this like bluey aqua color out of here and probably a darker brown because if you remember we had some of these over here with the chocolates and stuff and I think I'm going to need some browns. So we're going to pick those out and if I have colors I can share with you I will be back. Be sure to give you the names. <laughs> 